Hi, my name is Fleur Ponton and I'm the convener of BIO 1620. This is your first lecture and during this lecture I'm going to go through the basics of BIO 6020, going to talk a little bit more about the assessments as well, unit reps and give you some general information about the unit. Okay, so in this unit we really want the student to acquire the necessary skills in the lab for their future studies. So all the skills that you will be using in the different units, but also uh, if you continue your career in science. We also would like the student to be, um, to acquire this safety awareness when working in the lab, to be able to work in a team, to appreciate diversity and ethics, um, to get this ability to access and interpret scientific works, where to find it, how to read papers, how to get conclusion, this uh, capability to write uh, in your own words um, and to acquire independence. It's your first semester, first year university. Now you really need to start organized and get independent um, in your work. And hopefully we're going to help you uh, to go this way. So this unit has been specifically designed for med science student, biology med science student. And you will have opportunities to connect with your peers. I know it's been very challenging in the last two years to get this connection. Hopefully, um, this semester is going to be a bit easier. So really take the opportunity to talk with your colleagues, with your peers, get friendship, get working group working, because you're going to be all together for the next few years. So if you are a solid group, it's going to be much easier to go through your studies. Okay, so the structure of the unit, so you will have lectures. The lectures were supposed to be face-to-face, -face, however, with the COVID situation, we thought that it was better to have recorded lectures. You will find the recorded lectures on the island page of the unit. Um, and these lectures will be given by guest lecturers that will talk about the latest innovation in medical sciences. So it's really to give you an overview of what's going on at the moment in uh, medical sciences and for you also to maybe start choosing what you are interested in if you not already know um, and see the broad topics that you could approach in your studies and in your career. So then you uh, will be um, going to practicals uh, with pre-practical information so this information that will be available on iLearn help you to reinforce your skills and will support the activity in practical classes. It is essential to read this information before coming to the practical. And then you will have practicals in lab classes. So the practicals will be on Monday and Tuesdays. You have all the information on the iLearn page. And during these practicals, you will be learning essential kids, uh, skills for your degree and your career in medical and life sciences. So how to find this island page for the unit and other units as well. So follow the link that you have here and you will see all the information is there. Um, you have to go on the island page at least twice a week to check for the new information for the communication. Uh, if you are struggling, if you don't know how to navigate iLearn, please email the Student Service Center or go on this um, uh, email ad, uh, website immediately and ask for help. Please do not wait because in week four or five, it's too late. Okay, you need to access the information now and to be on top of it. This is the, the island page of the unit. So first you're gonna have, you have the, the, the welcome to the unit um, and the acknowledgement to the traditional concerner of the Macquarie University land. You got a brief overview of the unit, some communication. So they have different way of communicating. You can send an email to biol6020 at mq.edu.au. There is also some announcements that are made, so it's mainly me or the super tutor who make them, so they are very important to read. There is a general discussion forum, so this is where you can ask any type of question, so your peers can answer, the tutors or the convener. 
There is also a forum that is specifically designed for the practical classes. And there is another section where you can send a private message to the conveyor. If you send an email to buyer 1620, it will also only come to me or the super tutor. You can find on the left hand side the grade book if you click on this little icon for grades. This is where you can check for your attendance and your grades um, of the unit. If you scroll down, you will find so you have other information such as the campus map, how to apply for student reps. We're going to talk about that a bit later on. Um, and you will find uh, information about the unit, the unit guide 2022, where you have the detail of the activities and the assessment. Um, and lots of different information about the activities, the practicals and everything. All the lectures will be recorded and available on ECHO. So you have to click on this little ECHO text here and you will be accessing the recordings. I'm going to show you a bit later on what it looks like. Then the rest of the island page um, is organized by weekly sessions. And so you will need to click on the each week to get the material, the pre prac material, the practical material, and any other information that, um, that is useful for you. So you might not see the section because it might be hidden from the students, or you might not see the information that will be available in time. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the assessments. Um, so there are different types of assessment. First, just let me reinforce the fact that the participation in PACs and TUTs, so PAC and TUTs are going to be given together, um, is compulsory. And um, you have to attend at least 80% of your practical sessions. So you will have lab and tutor pre uh, activities. So this is mainly the pre prac quiz, and there are two post prac quizzes that was 10% of your total grade, and they are weekly. Um, then there will be two exams, a midterm and a final exam. The midterm exam is a midterm quiz test, as well as a practice-based exam. Both of them will be done during the prac session in week six. And this is the same structure for the final exam, and this will be during the PAC session in week 12. So the exams are done in the lab, even the quiz. Um, this unit, so you will be given a grade, but actually it's a pass or fail unit. So your grade won't be um, calculated, integrated in the calculation of your WOM. You just need to have like 50 out of 100 to pass the unit. Um, you need to submit all the assessments and attend all the exams and participate at least in 80% of the practicals to pass the unit. Um, what else? Yeah, so just remember that the, the, the grade, you will be given a grade, but this won't be integrated in the calculation of the one. So if you miss a practical, or already know that you won't be able to make one. There are a few options. You can catch up the session by going to another practical time slot after the one you missed, for instance, or before, if you know that one you can't go. Um, so you need to arrange that before going uh, to the catch up session because it might be full. And you have to email us ASAP. Um, lots of sessions are full. So I think it's gonna be very difficult to do that this year. You can also come to a catch-up session. So at the end of term one and at and the end of term two, we will organize open lab sessions where everyone can come and practice their skills, but you can also get a quick catch-up on what you missed. Um, however, even if you come to this session, you will be still marked absent for the practical you missed. And you can apply to for special consideration. So if you were sick or if you train was cancelled, if your car broke on the road or anything that prevented you to come to the practical session, you have to apply for special consideration. If your special consideration, sorry, I go back here. If your special consideration is accepted, you will be marked present at the PRAC uh, session. 
So the practical classes require preparation and the completion of a quiz. So do your pre-prac or post-prac quiz each week. This is all detailed in the timeline you have available on iLearn regarding the practical sessions. The pre-prac quiz, they open each Wednesday at 9 a.m. and they close the following Monday at 11 a.m. regardless of your prac day or time. Okay, so they all close at the same time. So uh, sometimes there's going to be a quiz after the prac, but you just need to have a look at the unit guides or the timeline is better. The outline, sorry, of the practicals and everything is detailed there. Students that enroll late, so for instance in week three, have a medical certificate or have special adjustments, can actually get their quizzes uh, time extended. Uh, but you have to email us and to let us know uh, for uh, having more information and, and to see if this is endorsed. Okay, the lectures. So as I told you before, they were supposed to be face-to-face, -face, but actually we're going to uh, provide them to you as recorded, and then uh, we will have some Q&A Q &A sessions. So the lecture will be recorded and available on ECHO on Mondays of each week. Um, there will be the Q&A session with the convener and the lecturer on Zoom on Thursdays from 1 to 1.30. Group of students will be will receive an email from us um, to ask questions to the lecturer to make sure that everyone participates and the, the, there is a good dynamic. So don't worry, we'll give you more information about that later on. And all the lecturers are researchers that you will be in contact with during your studies. So they are either directors of the majors you're going to select or they are researchers that are uh, working in top topics in medical sciences. So it's very important for you to network with these people right now. At least they know you, you could do an internship in their labs. Um, they can also be director of your major. So it's, it's really important that they see your, your cute face uh, and talk with you. So this is how on iLearn uh, the lecture will be presented. So you won't have access uh, to all those lectures. This is the way I see it. You won't see all of that. But for example, here we have lecture six, week six, Jan Johnson, that is uh, uploaded. It will be available on week five. Um, but you see these little two symbols, icons here. So one is to watch the lecture and the other one is the presentation. So you will just have to click on it and you will see the presentation uh, coming up with the lecturer talking. Um, I think I put the, the, the outline as well, which is available on the island page. So you see there is the date, name of the lecturer and the topic of the lecture for each week. So in week one, it's my lecture. This is the topic and we will have a Q&A session on the 24th of Feb. You can ask me any questions. And then we continue this way. So this is for the first term, and you also have the lecture for the second term on the outline. Okay, practicals. So the team, there's me. You have a super tutor. Her name is Lara Tromf, and she will be teaching a little bit on Tuesdays in the afternoon. Um, she will be your main coordinator for the practical sessions, um, and she will help you to na navigate. Uh, things when you email uh, by 6020. We have Rebe Rebecca Oliver, she's the unit technical support, so she's the person who organizes all the PRAC uh, classes and everything, so she's a very important uh, person in the team. And then we have six tutors who will be here, Fahad, Tess, Tomoy, Jess, Courtney, and Sarah. You will have the same pair or single tutor every week, it's a good opportunity to to, leak, uh, to to have some connection with him. You can ask them any questions. If there is something important, you email me as well. Uh, but they are here to help you and um, give you advices. So do not hesitate to communicate with them. Okay, so during the practicals, you have to wear enclosed shoes. So they have to cover the toes, the upper surface of your foot and heel. You won't be allowed in the lab if you don't have enclosed shoes. 
you will access an EPRAD book on iLearn. So take the EPRAD book with you either on a USB stick or on your laptop and you can fill it out during the practical session. You won't need a lab coat during the, the prax or any other PPE. Um, you can't access the labs also if you have the, haven't done the safety quiz. It's uh, compulsory before accessing the lab. Last thing, you can't be late. We won't accept anyone 10 minutes after the start of the lab session because we're talking about the safety in the first um, 10, 15 minutes. And so um, we don't want anyone to miss the safety recommendation before starting the practical. Okay, so just to repeat to you, there is a EPRAC book. It's important to read it before coming to the PRAC because then you know what to fill out and you have to fill it out during the session. If this EPRAC book is for you to get a record of what you've been learning, it's also going to be useful for me is, for instance, you say that you came to a practical and you were marked absent. So I'm going to check your EPRAC book. I'm going to ask you to send it to me. Or if you are like borderline in passing the unit, I will ask you all your EPRAC books, your, your PRAC books, and just to see if you have been filling them out seriously, if you came to all the session and if you've been working um, hard to um, acquire all the skills that are important in this unit. I just repeat weekly pre prac quizzes. There are going to be two post prac quiz. And don't forget the pre prac quizzes, they close on the Monday at 11 a.m., even if your practical session is on the Tuesday. They all close on Monday at 11 a.m. Um, so as I told you, the, the attendance for the practicals is compulsory, and it will be marked in your gradebook. So please check your attendance in the great book weekly. If you got a zero in the column of the practical, it means that you've been absent. If you got a one, it means that you attended. If there is any mistake, please contact us and we can uh, go through it. Uh, you will be able to swap between practical sessions on eStudent until week three. You cannot access sessions that are already full. They are nearly all full, so it's going to be very challenging to swap between sessions. If you have to swap last moment because your train was late, you missed a session, and you just want quickly to, to, to go to the next one, email us ASAP, and we'll let you know if you can do so. There will be free skill certificates given according to the skills you acquired during the practical session. One will be um, on microscopy and digital imagery. One about data collection, basic stats, and graphing in Excel. And another one about your skills of micropipetting. These skills, these certificates will be given to you according to your grades at the midterm and final exam. There is no compulsory textbook in Bio 6020. However, if you want to to have a read, uh, to survive a university expectation, you can go through this, this book here entitled Essential Skills for Science and Technology. You find it on the library website, and I think there is an e-version of it that you can download. So have a look. There are other books as well. Doesn't cost um, anything just to read them, but this one was a quite a good one. Okay, so how can I do better in my assignments? And we're going to talk about the resources that are available at Macquarie University. So there are workshops and individual consultations that can be organized. Uh, you don't have to book for these free services, um, but to go um, where they are given. This was the address that has been so far used. Just check that for this year it's the same one. Um, so you can have one-on-one -on -one consultations or workshops, and you can discuss lots of different stuff, such as your assignments, your writing, how you can um, progress on your writing, what is referencing, um, lots of different other aspects that would help you to, um, to, to be successful in your assignments. So you can follow this link and get more information about it. StudyWise is here to really support you as well. So it's more like management and organization of your studies. 
find expecting ways of working. Also, go on this link, just see what they have. Just choose and pick what you think would be useful for you. It's free, it's support, just use it. Um, it will only help you. And this is a detail of the, the web, web page, so I won't go into details into it, but just go there and, and see what is available. Okay, student rep. So you can become a student representative for BIO 16. It's, it's a very important role for us uh, because you're going to be able to report all the things that are working or not working in the unit and how we can make student life better. So what do you do as a student representative? You're going to solicit information from students from any issues or good things in the unit, summarize this information and give it, give it to me communicate it to me. Uh, we will have meetings uh, with me and the super tutor and go through these different possible issues or solutions that we can have. You will meet with the, the unit representative of the other units and maybe with the head of school, head of department. You, it's, it's quite good because you're going to work with the students and the convener and it's really to improve the unit and the experience of the for the students and you can also bring like positive feedbacks which is very welcome because having only negative things it's a bit difficult um, so it's nice to balance it um, so why you should do it um, it's, it's a good thing for you to develop few skills such as leadership communication you, you're going to be able to receive and provide feedback you can network with the other unit representative and you'll be very an active contributor to biology and med science units um, and, and in the Bachelor of Medical Sciences. So I think it's a good way for you to start being included in the community, in the, in the university community for your first semester and your first year at uni, uh, because it's important to communicate, to network. So if you feel doing it, do not hesitate to apply for it. So there will be a, a nomination form online available. Um, you have different questions and you have to work a motivation statement. So I will receive the nominations and select two reps. And the selection will be based on your motivation and also the representation of different programs diversity. But we might also look for informal degree representatives via this process. So we'll let you know. Um, okay. So I just would like to finish quickly um, academic advising, very, very important. Make sure you go and connect with the Science Student Center and just check that all the units you have selected are the right one for the major you would like to do. And that in three years time, you're not just like realizing that you forgot to do a core first year unit. It would be really a pity. So the Science Student Center is, is here for that. Go and see them with your study plan. And you just ask them, you double check, and once you have their tick, it's good. Um, so you can uh, withdraw without academic or uh, financial penalty until the, the 18th of March. So it's very important to do it before the 18th of March because you won't have to pay for your unit. And this can happen if you have selected a unit that actually you don't need to do or you don't want to do anymore. Or if you feel a bit overwhelmed in the first weeks and you're thinking, I won't manage to do all of that, instead of failing, it's much better to withdraw. And then you can redo, take again this unit either in semester two if it is um, open or next year. So don't forget this day, the 18th of March. Okay, there's also a lot of support at Macquarie University for well-being. The two last years have been extremely difficult for everyone, now we're adding the stress of starting university. It can be, it is difficult. Um, there are lots of associations and supporting group. Just go, go, go there, talk with people. You know it's there, they would be open to, to chatting. Uh, even if you think you don't need it, you know that it's there and it's very important. And I think like we've been, we've been through like difficult times, so it's, it's very important to take care of your mental health. We have social media. 
Um, so there are still some social media for the different departments, but now we are merged into a big school, the School of Natural Sciences. So the social media is, is starting to, to, to be developed for this new school. Uh, there is the one for the MQ, um, the Faculty of Science and Engineering. I think it's very good if you can follow the different school and department at Macquarie University because you can see what's going on, um, who is there, what interesting research is there, and, and it keeps you like uh, aware of uh, the different options. So do it, follow them. And that's it. So I would like to thank you for listening to this lecture. There will be a Q&A session next week. Um, so go back to the timeline of IFF on Thursday. Um, just come and ask me all the questions you want. It's the good time now because we haven't really started and you need to know about everything or not having any gray zone. If you're struggling with iLearn, please contact the center that's going to help you to navigate iLearn. If there is any other concern, please email us on bio6020 at mq.edu.au. Do not wait. Do not wait that we are in the middle of the semester. It might be too late. Email us now and we can find solutions for lots of things. Uh, I think we, we are really open to discussion and, and, and we can always find solutions for everything. And then I wish you good luck. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to see it's a, it's, it's a fun unit um, with a lot of, of practicals, which is, which is very nice. And you're going to learn, uh, hopefully, lots of skills. So I see you soon. Thank you.